hey, do you like calling people racist or are constantly running out of actual self-declared racist to call out? Well, then you should try casual racism. Casual racism is your ticket to calling people racist over and over again until your face is as blue as your hair. Watch how Hassan Piker uses casual racism to turn Laura Ingram's non-racial comments about LeBron James into neo-Nazi rhetoric. Here's his barely intelligible take on President Trump. Okay, Laura, we're not just being a regular Nazi, we're being a grammar Nazi on top of that. It's 2018, racism has evolved. It's more casual and latent now. Just wonderful. But this isn't only for public figures. See how this gent uses casual racism to turn basic customer service into a direct racial attack. Not all racism is crude, rude, and shocking. There is also casual racism. You know, you walk into the shop and they automatically just jump on you. Like, the student, you walk into the shop and not even, it's not even 10 seconds later and they're like, oh, can I help you with something? And it's, it's just like, of you. yeah. A store clerk asking if he can help a client with anything. The nerve. Casual racism has a number of applications, from turning Jewish conservative Ben Shapiro into a neo-Nazi, to claiming that black female YouTuber Candace Owens is actually a racist cis white male who just needs to check his privilege. Get your training listicle today for only $19.99.95. That's less than the price of one raw fermented organic non-GMO kombucha a day for one week. Casual racism. Remember, bigotry is not defined by words or actions. It's racist if you say it is.